Hello YouTube, Kev the reseller here. I am sat outside a charity shop. It is a day where I generally spend all day out in a town, but circumstances meant I couldn't do that today. But I've got a few hours now in the afternoon before I have to go and pick my daughter up from school because she has a club today. So I get an extra hour and a bit before I have to do the pickup, which is why I head out on this day. But yeah. I've come to my local charity shops. Sometimes it can be brilliant, other times I can literally get nothing. So, fingers crossed, for the sake of me recording this video, I get some nice stuff. So, let's get in there. First shop is right there. Let's go. So you may have seen that I already just drew a blank in that first shop. I think I showed you that remote control uh, forklift. That looked pretty cool and there are some nice sales for slightly different models, but at three quid, there wasn't gonna be a great deal in that. And then those jeans, pair of Jaegers, pair of Levi's and Gantz. Pretty good prices, maybe the Levi's a bit extreme, but a 30 short, 30-30, that's just not a good enough size. They would take far too long to sell. So, left them. Two more shops now. Let's get in these. Fingers crossed for a bit of better pickings. So, I did like the look of these. I think they were kind of like Italian hand-painted bowls. But the condition of them, unfortunately, just wasn't there. The price was great, but I left them due to those condition issues. And then these were really nice. Um, Arca Rock. French design glass lidded pots, really nice condition to be fair. Uh, five and four pounds again, just a little bit out of reach, didn't fancy it. Now, this is the kind of shop where, as you can see by the rails, ladies wear in abundance. If you've got the time, I'm sure you'll find something good. But I'll leave you now to look at the things I did pick up because everything you see going forward, I did pick up, and we'll get back to the garage and have a look for it properly. going to go pop into the last two charity shops now but just firstly if you're in the local area that is a very nice cafe lovely food lovely handmade cakes and a little play area for kids as well if you've got kids with you go check it out Right, we're back in the garage. So not a huge amount of footage out there in the charity shops, but a little bit. It was a bit of an impromptu visit out, only probably two and a half hours I think I was out for on that day. I've got a couple of other bits as well to show that I picked up on another 
couple of days, probably spanning about a couple of hours. So probably four to five hours worth of thrifting out in the charity shops. And obviously you saw some of what I picked up, which I'll show you a bit more now, what I paid, what I expect to get, as well as a few other bits. And stay tuned again at the end of the video because I've got a good few sales that have sold from previous videos, things that I've picked up and shown you on those pickup videos that I'll show you what they actually managed to get in their true real sale prices. So yeah, stay tuned at the end for that. Let's get stuck into these things I picked up then. Now, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing these in the order that you saw them on the video. Maybe slightly different. I think I did forget maybe one item that might come in a bit towards the end. But I went in a couple of shops and obviously drew a blank. There were a few things that I was interested in, but kind of damage, price slightly out there, put me off. But it ended up being fairly clothing heavy, but some nice things. So, started off with this. St. Michael's cable knit jumper. Um, it's not wool. If it was wool, it would be even better. It's 80% cotton, but that was £3.50, and that should be an easy, solid 20 quid back. Then we've got this Alien t shirt. So it says Alien Range Finder, the Zenon coated ship detectors at left will flash red when this shirt is within one mile of any alien spaceship, and it glows in the dark. So it's got 19.95 there, which is what made me pick it up. It was three pounds fifty. I can't find anything with this design at all, but you know, Area 51, Roswell, all that kind of stuff. You know, aliens are a quite a niche area, and the vintage T-shirts, alien-related, can do quite well. So it was three pound fifty. It's one of those ones that it might get the price that I ask, or it might sit around for a long time, but unbelievably maybe for some these can fetch in the region of about 30 pounds for a 90s um alien based t-shirt so i put an estimated value of 30 quid on there we'll see how we get on then the next shop i went in i think i did in the clip show you the price list first so a lot everything kind of t-shirt jumperish is two pounds each men's or ladies and there was this ladies um ramblers jumper collared jumper with an embroidered poppy print there well not print embroidered on the front size large made in england pretty nice so that's only two pound um and these can comfortably sell for about 20 quid i put on that i might get 25 but i put 20 i'll probably list it for 25 20 for the estimate so the print of this one made it stand out to me big old tiger print going on there just crazy pretty floral Think of festivaly type shirt by Jaded London Medium. Now I'm not sure if this is men's or ladies. It's cut at the bottom like a men's, but it was in the ladies section. I'll have to do some measuring up, obviously. It was $3.99, and some of these, in terms of the madder prints, can go quite nicely, but I would expect to see £20 back on that one. Probably my worst pickup from today's bunch was this Bob Mackie wearable art. I thought it was a shirt in the shop, but it has no buttons. So it's kind of like a just an over shirt top thing. And I did sold when I was in there because I hadn't heard of this brand. And I thought I saw that it might be worth a bit. But in fact, it's probably worth about 15 quid. And I paid 5 99 So that is really, really not the kind of margins I want to be working with at all there. So I think I will be glad to see this one head out the door. Fingers crossed after not too long. Double me money. Just get it gone. This was a nicer one. Mint velvet jumper with a kind of little V design going on there. That was $4.99. And in terms of the content, you're looking at 30% mohair, 29% wool. So... A nice mixture of mohair and wool and that cost 4.99 and they can go some have gone for over 30 but the average is about 30 quid and i will probably list that for 30 i might push 35 when i come to list we shall see but yeah 30 quid back on that nice next up is something that i see so many um ladies wear sellers on instagram picking up all the time and that is sea salt cornwall there we go. It was 6.99, so relatively expensive. 
but it's the cleat dress. And the reason I picked it up is one a really big factor when weighing up whether or not you're going to buy something is, is the sell through rate. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, I'll try and give a little description. As in when you search something and you see all the listings, say there's 30 listings and then you go to the solds and there's 60 solds, it shows that the demand obviously is outweighing just how many is out there. So the supply and demand is in favour of the sales. And when it came to this, I think there was three listed maybe in this particular size and there was about 10 sales, something along those lines. So it's going to sell pretty easily, pretty strongly. And at six pound, sorry, seven pound, it will easily get me back 25. I'm probably gonna list for 30. Maybe it'll go on offer. It might go for 30, I don't know, but it's an easy money spinner. You know the money's coming back, so it's not gonna get huge profit margins on there, but it's guaranteed money, and you're not gonna be turning that down. This is an interesting one. Nissan Skyline. Absolutely love the Skyline R34. So really, really nice print on the front there. And that little thing on the back there, and when I've done a bit of research, it uh, says reviewed by Jamie FYD. Now it turns out Jamie FYD is a YouTube channel. So I didn't know that, but it was 2 99 It was only three pound. So I don't know, I watch a lot of car based YouTube channels, but I haven't seen this guy, but he's got a lot of subscribers. And about five, six years ago, his videos are having million plus views in the real high hundreds of thousands. And now they're getting like four or 5,000 views. So I'm not really sure what's happened with his channel. Something might have happened and things went wrong. I don't know, but he still releases regular videos. But obviously back then, I'm assuming that's when this t-shirt would have been around, maybe five, six years old. He was getting some mega views. So yeah, interesting, but a nice Skyline t-shirt um, with a bit of age. You never know. Hopefully you get 10 to 15 quid for it. And the last pickup in this shop was this Park Avenue Collections Las Vega Nevada. Las Vega? Did I just say Las Vega? Las Vegas. I don't know if anyone has little children and they watch Blippi on YouTube, but there's one video in particular that my son always used to watch where he was in a soft play in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, I've, I've heard that so many times. But anyway, back to the clothing. So I thought this was pretty jazzy. It's kind of got these sequins, the Montes, whatever you would call them, like quite quality on the piece. It's like a long denim over shirty jackety thing. It has got a single button. But yeah, when you look at the, the uh, listings on this particular brand, some really crazy prices in America. There's nothing in the UK. Um, and only one sold, I think, but just the asking prices, plus it's denim, plus it's a bit out there. If you go into a barn dance or your line dancing class and you want to stand out a bit, maybe you want this. It was 5 99 I'm hoping, I think I'm going to list that for probably in the region of 30 quid. Hopefully, should get that for it. So then we moved on to the shop where I picked up the big jacket, the big one. But this shop is kind of notorious for pricing very high. And I think I showed on, on the video there one jumper that was just absolutely nothing. Goes for a few quid on eBay, but they were asking £15 for it. But I did find this on an old uh, Haynes label. I think it's Robert Norfolk print, like dragonflies. don't know if you can make it out, but it's got a slight bit of kind of glitteriness to it as well. Just thought it was quite a unique piece. If someone likes Dragonflies or Robert Norfolk prints, then they may want this jumper. I appreciate the uh, the uniqueness of pieces that you can pick up like this. It was only 425 and similar kind of stuff has gone for in the region of 15 to 20 quid. So again, not amazing, but do you know what? I think I just wanted to pick something up in that shop because I never get anything in there. I did get the Starbucks mug as well. Haven't included that in this because that is the wife's. She has got that a bit early for Christmas, but she loves Starbucks, loves mugs. Perfect gift. So yeah, that should see back about 15 quid. But here is the big one. When I saw this on the rail, the label stood out. St. John Caviar. I eBay sold it and I saw that potentially could be maybe a couple of hundred, 150, 200 quid jacket. 
So I thought, well, naturally, at five pounds twenty-five, or was it five seventy-five? I was going to be taking that home, of course. So it came home. Then I started to look into it a bit more and was quite blown away with just how much this jacket would have been when new. I'll put the screenshot up here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this already, but £2,125 to buy this coat on the website right now. It's still listed, current collection. It is there, available to purchase. If you've got a couple of grand burning a hole in your pocket and you really, really want a coat. Now that's it. Now, what am I gonna get for it? Because I think there's a butt here. And it's quite a big butt. What is it? I'm almost certain that this has been in the washing machine. This should be very fluffy. It's 60% wool. As the I mean, all the labels check out. I'm almost certain it is real, but it's 60% wool and it's got dry clean only, low steam, all that kind of stuff. Low heat, low moisture, dry clean, cover hardware, turn garment inside out, all that kind of jazz. And the dead giveaway on anything, that is a tissue, I think, that was in there that has obviously been washed. And I'm not sure if it shrunk. It's a size 10. So, I mean, it's hard obviously to show you the size in there. But this material just looks like it's not how it should look. And it's kind of all folded over in itself in the inside. It's gone really hard. It should be poking up. I don't know if you can see what I mean, but it's folded over inside the pocket and it should be standing up on end almost. So I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up too much because naturally brand new this is a very very quality piece my wife's tried it on and it still has a very nice fit to it it's in lovely shape but i don't know i'm going to get it dry cleaned we'll see how it comes out and i may well list obviously being very obvious about the flaws now if the dry clean comes out well and i can spruce it up and get it looking back to its best i could expect in the region of maybe about 250 pounds for it lovely if it isn't then who knows i don't know the answer but i gotta say i'm super chuffed that i have found an item in a charity shop that once was over two thousand pounds i've never purchased an item of clothing in a charity shop before with that kind of retail value to it so i'm just super chuffed for that anyway just to say yeah i got it but unfortunately it may well have ended up there because it's gone in the washing machine i'm i'm almost certain of it so a big shame potentially or it might just take a bit of value off and we still get a decent return. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Then I got a lovely message on Instagram from Mad Bird Designs, who is Joan, and she messaged me to say that there was a new charity shop open fairly local. She knows where I live because we used to frequent the same auctions. Strange story, really. My reselling journey started about 10, 11 years ago, mostly in auctions on a Saturday morning. All these years down the line, when I joined Instagram a couple of years ago, I follow this lady she starts following me we had a little chat turns out we used to go to the same auction probably rubbed shoulders many many times before and never even knew it so yeah really interesting but she knows i'm local she said this charity shop is open why don't you go check it out so i did it was a bit of mayhem in there it's a big store i think i'm going to be looking forward to going back there but there was stuff everywhere there was no prices on anything they were still having bags and bags of gear getting it out all over the place but they did have computer games price so these were 99p each if you don't know then nearly all the buzz junior games are worth getting um, and on average you're looking at about a tenner each on these one of them is 15 i think it's the ace races is about 15 and then maybe about 10 each on these but 30 quid easy so three quid for those i actually got a little bundle of items and it was like ask your price at the till so it was kind of like oh, what are they going to say but she said £10 for the lot. So I'll, these were £3. And then I've got three other items which I'll class as a, a £3 item and two £2. So the first one being this, which is very nice. A St. Michael's jumper with a 
lovely kind of collar going on there. Nice vintage piece. Someone has already inquired to me about this on Instagram, so I just need to get it photographed, a few better photos and some sizings, send that over to them, see if they want to purchase that one. So we'll say that was two pounds. Can't really go wrong with a quality Ralph Lauren shirt. It's a knit Oxford, pink color, size large, nice size. I don't really like the the plain kind of standard shirts that aren't these knitted cotton ones, but these seem to sell quite well. So again, two pounds. If I had to put a price on that St. Michael's jumper, by the way, I'd say 20 quid on eBay. This, another 20 quid. And then I've got these football boots that were just tucked on a shelf, and let's say they were three quid. They are Adidas Nitro Charge 3.0s. From doing research, the Nitro Charge 1.0s and 2.0s are very valuable. The threes, not so much, but should get 20 quid back on those as well. So a solid 20, 20, 20, 30. So in that shop, could be looking in the region of about 90 pounds from 10. So yeah, very, very nice. And I most definitely will be heading back there soon. Then I also popped into a couple of other shops on a whim. Um, one on later on the day where I picked them up and then another couple the day after when I dropped my son to Warhammer Club in town. But the first was this, Gap. I think it's fairly vintage Gap jeans, embroidered butterfly skirt, front and back. This was only £2.50. And I didn't really look through the ladies rail in this shop. It's just this stood out. Did a quick eBay sold search. And this go especially in the States, people pay some really good money for this quite regularly. But I think I will list it at £30. Comfortable. I might list it for more, to be honest, but I'll put £30 as an estimate there. And then another couple of shops. Again, if you're on Instagram, you may have seen me post this already. But I was in one particular shop where it's a chain of hospice shops in my local area. They have like pound clearance shops, which I've mentioned a few times before. They have like normal charity shops. And then they have this vintage charity shop now, which pretty much they charge what they like. And they have everything in there. Games, clothing, like bric-a-brac, records, books, um, everything. But they also have hats. So I whacked the game up here. I'll, I'll put the screenshot here. Basically, it said on eBay, 50 quid. They wanted 40. I mean, I think I'd struggle to get 40 for it on eBay, to be honest. But, you know, they obviously hadn't checked the hats because there's this one, which is Christie's of London baseball cap. Pretty cool design. Um, and that was £4.50. And that should comfortably get about 25 quid. People are listing them for a lot more, but there are solds to suggest it might get 25 to 30. Quality cap to be fair, very quality. And this Olney headwear, 100% wool flat cap, which was four pounds. Gonna be watching um, Clarkson's Farm series two this weekend. So I may keep this just for the weekend, just to add to the uh, experience of watching Clarkson on the farm or Clarkson's Farm. How do you pronounce it? Diddly squat. But anyway, four pound from that, and that should see back 20 quid as well. So there we have it, my charity shop pickups from one impromptu afternoon visit and a couple of little pop-ins elsewhere. <laughs> but I spent a total of 71 pounds, and I should expect to see a listing value, if I include that coat at 250, of 635 pounds. Now, the coat, is an anomaly. So if I take that out, then obviously you're looking at what? 385 was that? Yeah, 385. So not bad for a, a little trip out that, you know, little quick afternoon before picking my daughter up from school. So wasn't too bad really. Got some nice bits there that should sell pretty quickly. But hopefully I will be able to get that coat dry cleaned, or jacket. For some reason they don't call them coats, it's a jacket. And the dry clean will make it have a bit more life than I expect it to have previously, but we shall see. No doubt I will update you again in some future videos. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little charity shop haul. There is a boot sale haul coming very soon, which has got some clothing in it, but I'm looking forward to these boot sales starting because as much as I enjoy the clothing, I don't enjoy it 
anywhere near as much as boot sales and getting the wide, crazy range of items that you get at a boot sale, which I have got sitting in my boot right now, which I'll be showing you on the next video. So stick around now, smash like if you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting subscribe and if you wanna see some more reselling content. And now let's roll through some sales of recent things that I've sold from previous videos. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.